Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. We got to the escape pod playing as Andreas Alekna, and we unlocked Joanne Winslow, who we're going to play as next. Let's read the description. Joanne never met a machine she couldn't fix or improve and isn't shy about trying a little impact calibration on living things, especially the sort with tentacles. Joanne can always summon a friendly turret. Key abilities, repair, summon turret, machine mind. Can always summon a friendly turret? This sounds really good. So in contrast to Andreas, who had 75 health and 100 Psy, Joanne has 150 health and 50 Psy. Very hardy. Also, something interesting that I noticed. The story objective for Joanne is escape with the engineer using the shuttle to unlock their story objective. With Andreas, it's escape through the mimic portal. Which, of course, is not what we did. We got to the escape pod. I don't even know what the mimic portal is. So, hopefully that will make sense later. Curious how that's going to work. Alright. I have lots of sim bucks. What should I get? Right now I've just got spare parts and a wrench. I mean, I might as well get a silenced pistol. It's really cheap. Get some ammo. Oh, it gives you 30 each time. Okay, that's a lot of ammo, actually. I thought it would just be one magazine. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the coagulating gel does. I mean... Is it basically just a not very strong med kit? Should I buy a turret? Nah. Let's get a neuromod, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Bounty objectives. Bounties are an optional way to earn extra sim points. Each time a bounty is completed, a new one will be assigned. You can view your current bounty in the objective section of your transcribe. Okay. Nullify one moon shark with your null wave transmitter. Oh. Fuck. Um. <laughs> right. Moon sharks. Those are not in the original game. I don't even know what they look like. I've never seen them. However, I do remember when I was hearing about Moon Crash, I remember hearing that the Moon Sharks are absolutely terrifying. I mean, they're called Moon Shark. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Nope. Oh. Cosmo Orders. Completing all items in the Cosmo Orders checklist will fulfill your contract to Cosmo Corp. Convey your progress in the Cosmo Order tab in your transcribe. Okay. Orders completed. 4 out of 27. Okay, so yeah, this would be how you beat the DLC, I guess. Gotta unlock all the characters, of course. And escape with everybody. Escape in certain ways. Need to do all the story objectives. Discover a bunch of stuff. 10 chipsets, whatever that is. Install 50 Nero mods. Okay. Corruption level one. I wonder if that's... A, yep, it's a timer. It's going up slowly. Okay. I believe this corruption level goes up. I think enemies get tougher and or more frequent. That sort of thing. So yeah, just as we left the simulation, it's the same state as when we left it with the first character. Like, instead of these mimics being here, they're killed, their body parts are still here. Yeah. And I don't have any of the inventory, yeah. So does that mean it's a bad idea to take everything you see? Because the fact that I took everything I saw means that there's not going to be any items to pick up as this character, right? Unless I go to new areas. Interesting. Let me get my stuff in order. Let's get that on one, get that on two. Let's install our Neuromod as well. What do we have? Now let's take a lot of, a lot of neuromods. Let's get an engineering one. Repair. Fix broken weapons, graph shafts, fabricators, recyclers, with spare parts. Ah, and I've already got the summon turret companion. Okay, um, let's get repair one. So how do I use the turret? Just like that? Yeah. That's gotta have a really long cooldown, right? Surely you can't just spam that. 
<laughs> Look at the icon for it. It's a it's a turret and there's like a bunch of little hearts over it. It loves me. Wait. No power? Okay, so in this run the power's different. I remember there's a power room somewhere in the center thing. Wait, what? But I thought I saw my pistol to number two. There we go. See, so yeah, no one's gonna have anything, right? Yes, there's no point in looking at, well, any of this stuff, really. I looted everything. Well, that's new. that work? Sometimes I'm doing damage to it, sometimes I'm not. Whoa! Okay, I have no idea how that works, but I'm gonna stop wasting my ammo on it. So I think there's a risk versus reward kind of thing with the corruption level. You might want to stay longer to, like, progress more, pick up more items or whatever. But it might not be in your best interest because things get harder and you might die. Propulsion system. What space will falling to glide or slow your descent? Or tap space to quickly dodge in the air? Yeah, this is the same propulsion system we used in in no gravity in Prey, right? But this is low gravity. Slow your descent. Tap space to quickly dash in the direction you're currently traveling. Cruz, this is VJ. Listen to me. You need to stay off the lunar surface. I repeat, do not step foot on the regolith. There's something underneath. I think it's drawn to movement. It senses vibrations. I can't kill it. There's a shuttle in crew, but we are stuck in the damn crater until we get the Typhon gates down. Round up anyone else you can find. Warn them! I- I think that's the moon shark. Senses that vibrations. Is this gonna be like Tremors, except on the moon? Alright, let me test out this propulsion system. Oh right, yeah, yeah, you could use that even when there was gravity. Just wouldn't do all that much for you. It'd only help a little bit. Ooh. So it looks like with a full charge you can get one good dodge? No, two dodges. Okay. Ooh. That is very cool. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh! <gasps> I can s Oh, this is cool. I can see why they gave me the propulsion thing. It's so I can go from, like, rock to rock and not have to touch the ground. Oh, God, this is Tremors. Hmm. Holy shit. So although it does detect vibrations, obviously, it looks like it can also see as well, I think? Meaning, just simply staying put when it knows where I am doesn't work, because it will pop up and see me. Wow, holy shit, this is terrifying. 
I think one of my goals is to kill that thing, right? How do I kill it? Okay. It's coming. Wow. Dodgy little bastard. I think it responds to enemies hitting the ground. Because a lot of bodies hit the ground. And it didn't come over here. Okay. Yeah, can I, like, distract it? Okay, the item just disappeared. Cool. Hazardous proximity detected. Designation Bullfrog 256S, Regolith Harvester. Right, so <laughs> I have like no ammo. I know that there's going to be no ammo to pick up unless I find new areas. Extractor ignition. I feel like I can probably do something with Service them. Service request logged for hover pads. I just don't know how. All right, let's see if it gets activated. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. It gets highlighted when it's coming. Yeah, so this wasn't open before, right? Oh, that's why they gave me so many Typhon lures, so I can lure that thing away. Typhon material detected. Let's get a look at that thing. Now I'm wondering if it can see. Can it? Decontamination. Do not enter. Okay. No Typhon detected. I'm scared. I'm given an objective. Get to the shuttle. Mm -hmm. Why is this locked? Oh, this is nothing. This is just some random person that I selected. No wave transmitter. I don't... Do I have a wave transmitter? I don't remember what that is, but I recognize the name. Oh, it's a whole new place. Well, let's do it. We'll actually find new loot. Yeah, like, I don't know if I should just stop looting. I need loot, though. I, I gotta get stuff. Especially since the difficulty is now gonna increase over time. Attention, everyone. Our head custodian, Claire Witten, would like to remind everyone that your mom doesn't work on Pythias. So let's all do our best to practice good restroom etiquette and leave things in as good of condition as we found it. Thank you.
Ooh, Neuromod. Glue Cannon! Yes! I remember how that thing works. Oh, I can't get anything. I need at least two Neuromods to get anything else. Oh, you can place the turret like a side power. Oh, there's a weaver in there. No Typhon detected. Typhon material detected. Oh, I can repair the door? It's a shocky one. It's got electricity arcing out of it. Nice. Control module? What is that? Isn't that, um... Isn't that one of my quests? Objectives? Bounties? No, it's not a bounty. Uh... Cosmo orders? Oh, that's ten chipsets. Detected. Escape pod navigation chip fabrication plan. I'm guessing if I go to the escape pod right now, it probably won't be ready for me. I probably need to manufacture that. Let's see what we got here. Small spill. Hello, Claire. There's been a small accident resulting in a chemical spill near my station. It's non hazardous, so the industrial cleanup team told me to contact you. Can you take care of it, please? Robbie Murphy's Habitation Pod. Hey Claire, could you pop in daily and clean up around Robbie Murphy's Habitation Pod? His co-workers are on a short fuse regarding his hygiene. Okay, thanks. Oops. By any chance, do you play basketball? Let me know if you do. Help. Did you find a briefcase while cleaning the lounge area? It's important. If you see it, please let me know before you tell anyone else. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. That's shady. The bins in our workplace are overflowing. Can you handle that, please? I have a proposal. Hello, Claire. As you may have heard, I am hosting a molecular cuisine event next week, and I need your help doing a deep clean of my prep spaces before then. If you can do that for me, I'll see that you get some exclusive preview dishes before they go in the menu. Sound good? Wow, people want a lot of stuff from the custodian. Whoa. Ah, found one of the other people. Which just outright unlocks them. Cool. I just had an idea. Wrench fabrication plan, some neuro mods. Wow, I have a lot of neuro mods. Why would I need to fabricate a wrench? I don't know, I guess I'll take that. Yeah, uh, I just had an idea. The whole thing of, like, if I pick up an item, the other characters won't be able to access it. Well, what if I put stuff back into a box? The other characters will be able to get it. Right? So maybe I should dump some stuff if I think I'm not going to need it and another character might. Do I have anything like that right now? Um, oh, the, where's the propulsion system? I picked that up, but I already have one. Either I'm not seeing it or it's just gone. Where did it go? I'd like to make the escape pod navigation ship, but I don't have the material to do it. I could get enough of this orange stuff by recycling some of the things I have, but I can't really get enough of this uh, iron or metal or whatever this is. At least not without basically melting down all of my weapons, so I I'm just not going to make it right now. I do have five neuromods, though. 
I'm going to go with Dismantle and Suit Modification 1. Dismantle allows me to break down equipment in my inventory into spare parts and recover spare parts from destroyed operators. So, operators will give me more materials. This is the biggest thing that I think I want there. And for Suit Modification, the biggest is that it will increase my inventory space so allow me to carry more stuff. Alright, what do I do about that weaver? I've got 16 shotgun rounds, not bad, alright, decent amount of ammo for that. I've got some lures, oh of course, oh yeah, my turret. I could just go place the turret in there, and then just see if it does enough damage. Yeah. Oh, corruption level's about to increase. The longer you remain in the simulation, the more dangerous it becomes. Over time, the simulation advances through five levels of corruption, causing Typhon enemies to repopulate and grow stronger. Eventually, the simulation will crash and eject you. I don't think I want to be there for the last level. My god. Activation in three, two, one. Typhon material detected. Fight for me, my friend. Scanning. Typhon threat imminent. Ooh. No Typhon detected. Oh, it almost killed it. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Oh, its name is Shoe Bill. It has a name. I wonder if they have unique names. Scanning target no alien material detected. Is it gonna come back? Just hanging out over there. Wow, that does like no damage. Okay. No, not that. These turrets are amazing! Oh my god, I love these things. Does the other one stay? Nope, gets rid of the old one. Alright, that's fair. Black Sparrow! They have Attention, unique names! Attention everyone, we have a special announcement from our Head of Security. This is Officer Bhatia, Head of Security. Just wanted to take a second to call out this month's security commendation. Sorry to interrupt you, but what did I just get? An abstract item representing a loophole in the system which you may exploit to temporarily slow corruption in the simulation. Use this to buy more time before the next corruption level increase. Oh. Nice. The commendation goes to Officer Casey Fletcher for outstanding service. Be sure to congratulate Officer Fletcher and buy her around. Right, so back to the start. Let's go place by place, nice and slow, but not too slow.
fitness center, cafeteria. This place is big. Recreation center. I think it's like sleeping quarters over there. Let's go to the cafeteria, I suppose. Yes, I'm not just going to take all the food. I don't I don't think there's any reason to do that. I'll just take enough. Um I guess I should take some with me just as like healing kits, shouldn't I? Cooking with Transtar. Excerpt from Transtar Kitchen's recipe book compiled by executive chef Will Mitchell. Chef Crosby's most well-known sauce, Valentina Tears, is an out-of-this-world delicacy that is uniquely sweet and rumored to elicit deeply emotional responses. Although traditionally served alongside his dish Space Cakes, the sauce was briefly discontinued from the Transtar menu, to which food critic Daisy Bode famously quipped, See his Space Cakes. <laughs> but now, on the cusp of the 20th anniversary of his time with Transtar, we are proud to include Valentina Tears in this edition of Cooking with Transtar. Cup of crushed candy hearts. Some honey, lemon, juice only, banana, lavender flowers, gold powder to dust, soft eel jelly. Mix together and serve over cake. That sounds weird. That's very strange. I, I can't even imagine what that would taste like. It could be good, but I don't think it would be. Whoa, what is that? Oh, Q-Beam! Huntress. Is this thing that just shoots, like, foam darts? Yeah, foam darts that do zero damage. Um, useful for remotely triggering buttons and screens. Right. Engineers have rarely modified the Boltcaster to cause physical harm. Well, I just happen to be an engineer. Cocktail lounge storage. And if I remember right, you can collect them, right? I'm going to get a look at that view out there in just a second. Wow, look at that. That is so cool looking. So we've got the huge dome in the center over a, a large crater. And then it looks like at least two kind of pyramids are the living places and working places, I guess. Eating places, etc., etc. Surprise, there's so few enemies. I need repair too for this. I see food. Nice. Skin graft. Medkit fabrication plan, couple neuro mods, nice. Yeah, so these gold chests seem to be, well, supply crates, special. They're special. If I want to save up for the next level of repair, I might. I mean, is there even anything I can get? Just machine mine. Machine mind. Force robotic enemies to end hostilities and fight for you for 30 seconds. In some limited situations, that could be really good. Enemies. It only works on enemies, so it wouldn't work on the harvesters, right? Because they're not enemies. How am I doing on inventory space? Eh. Not very good. It's alright, though. So I've got a cocktail lounge, like, key. Where would that be? Wouldn't be in the fitness center. I mean, I think it would be here in the cafeteria, right? But if it is, it's nowhere that I can access yet. Hmm.
I don't think I need all those. I'm going to leave them. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Well, that didn't go well. They make it so I can't use the blue cannon. All right. I did a shitload of damage. Whew. Did they destroy the turret or maybe they just disabled it? No, they destroyed it real quick. Sorry. Uh, hmm, doesn't even have a name. I guess because it's destroyed. Sorry, nameless one. That's a, uh, I got one med kit. Let's do food. Yeah, so like everything that I got is alcohol. It's not actually food. Oh, pop star. That'll work. A little bit. Like this stuff will restore health by one, but that's like nothing. Uh, I guess I'll go with that for now. I don't want to use... No, I should just use my med kit. Stop being ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's not even going to heal, heal me to full... I might restore some health. Yes. And yes, I know the food heals over time. Pythias Jukebox. Choose a song. Semi-sacred geometry. Mind games. Realization. Everything is going to be okay. That's a great track. Oh yeah, I should probably repair my suit as well, shouldn't I? That's the song that plays over the end credits in Prey. So, fitness center or living quarters? Hmm. Let's do fitness center. Killed it. Good. Yeah, get him. Good job, Scrub J. Scanning target, no type of material detected. Ah, right. I also need to remember that I have the laser gun. With quite a bit of ammo, actually. You know, I should actually probably save exploration of this place. I think I just heard footsteps. I'm going to save exploration of the fitness center for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.